So what we're going to look at in this short video is the mechanisms of failure. So there are four main steps that occur as concrete progresses to failure. And we're going to look at them with the aid of the stress strain diagram shown on the left and the cross-sectional cut of concrete shown on the right, where we have uh, our aggregate and paste. So uh, the first thing that happens is as soon as you cast your concrete and it starts to hydrate, we're going to have uh, micro cracks that are going to form. So micro crack formation. And as we could see in, in one of the previous videos, this micro cracking is going to occur right around the aggregate in the interfacial transition zone. So this will happen under no load and it's going to happen right around the aggregate in the interfacial transition zone. So as we start to apply load, what's going to happen is these micro cracks are going to expand. So we're going to have micro crack expansion. And this occurs, uh, so what will happen is the microcracking is going to, I guess, fully take over the inter interfacial transition zone and start to extend a little bit uh, outside of it. But this will happen, uh, as this happens, we're still in the linear range. So we're still working our way uh, up in the linear range on our stress strain curve. So next what's going to happen is we're going to have the appearance of mortar cracks. So the cracking is going to start to extend out from our interfacial transition zone. And this is when we're going to start to see some uh, nonlinear non non behavior occur in our stress strain curve. So finally, our concrete's still going to be able to have strength until we finally have a connection of our, our mortar cracks. And it's at this point, when we have the connection of our mortar cracks, that our concrete's no longer going to be able to hold uh, strength. And we're going to uh, fail. So that is how concrete fails in compression.